Hello. Welcome to St. Marie's Children's Liturgy. My name is Candida and today we're celebrating the baptism of the Lord. Now, have you ever been to a baptism? Maybe you have. Maybe the baptism of a baby perhaps. And if you have, you'll know that the priest pours some water on the baby's head. Well, Jesus got baptised too, and I can tell you he had a very different experience. We'll find out more about that shortly. But before, let's begin by lighting our candle. As we light the candle, we remember that Jesus is the light of the world. He is like a light shining in the darkness and helping us to find the way. Because all of us come from God and all of us are trying to find our way back to God. You need your right hands and we say from my head to my heart from my shoulder to my shoulder I belong to you God our Father Son and Holy Spirit Amen let's do it the grown-up way as well in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen As we welcome Jesus into our lives and into our hearts, let us say sorry to God for any mistakes or bad choices that may have caused him some sadness. If I have hurt anyone by what I have said and done, Jesus, I am sorry. If I have ignored someone or made them feel unloved, Jesus, I am sorry. If I have been unforgiving and full of anger, Jesus, I am sorry. This is the season of Epiphany where we explore all the different ways that Jesus has been revealed to us. Now, last week we saw how Jesus, as a baby, was revealed to us as a king of all people. When the wise men came to visit him and they came on their long journey to honour him with a visit and with some precious gifts. This week, comes to us from St Mark. In it we hear what happened when Jesus was baptised. And I have two questions for you to try and answer today. Question number one, where was Jesus baptised? Where was Jesus baptised? And question number two, what two things happened when Jesus was baptised? So where was Jesus baptised and what two things happened when Jesus was baptised? So I want you to look and listen very carefully, see if you can find out what the answers are. Jesus, here we are, gathered as your children to the word of God. We have come to listen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. So you need to write some and we say, God be in my head, God be on my lips, and God be in my heart. In the course of his preaching, John the Baptist said, Someone is following me, someone who is more powerful.
than I am, and I am not fit to kneel down and undo the strap of his sandals. I have baptised you with water, but he will baptise you with the Holy Spirit. It was at this time that Jesus came from Nazareth to Galilee and was baptised in the Jordan by John. No sooner had he come up out of the water than he saw the heavens torn apart and the spirit like a dove descending on him. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son, the beloved. My favour rests on you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, my first question was, where was Jesus baptised? And you did have to listen quite carefully because all the reading said was Jordan and they meant the River Jordan. So if you got that right, you can give yourself a pat on the back. Now, my second question was, what two things happened when Jesus was baptised? And the answer is, a dove descended onto Jesus. And the second thing that happened was that there was a voice from heaven. But what does this reveal to us about Jesus? It's time to become gospel detectives. So let's begin by examining the events of Jesus' baptism in a little more detail. So the first thing that we heard was that the heavens opened and the spirit came down at, in the form of a dove. Hmm, the spirit. Who's that, do you think? So think back to when we make the sign of the cross and we say, I belong to you, God, our Father, Son and Holy Spirit. So the Spirit is the Holy Spirit, God the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit came down in the form of a dove. And that dove rested on Jesus. The next thing that happened was that a voice spoke saying, you are my son, the beloved. My favour rests on you. Hmm. Who do you think the voice belongs to? I bet you can guess. It's God the Father, isn't it? God the Father. That was who the voice belonged to. And so, what does that reveal to us about Jesus? reveals that Jesus is the Son of God. So God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. So last week Jesus was revealed as a king for all people and this week he's revealed as the Son of God. So here we are in January at the start of a brand new year. And baptism is also a new beginning for us when we're baptised. A new beginning for our souls as they journey back towards God. And baptism was a new beginning for Jesus too. This event marks the beginning of Jesus' ministry here on earth. Up until this time, Jesus hadn't performed any miracles, but with God the Father's stamp of approval on him and with the Holy Spirit upon him, Jesus began to perform great miracles. From this new beginning, 
many people came to understand that Jesus was truly the Son of God and they began to follow him. God gives us many opportunities for new beginnings, even in the current lockdown. So let's make the most of these opportunities as we live a new year, trying our best to follow Jesus. With the help of the Holy Spirit, let us pray that we too may make some good choices this year that God will be pleased about. Let's finish with a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending us your only son, Jesus, to save us and show us the way. And thank you for all the ways that Jesus is revealed to us. Please help us to recognise our opportunities to get to know you better. And please send the Holy Spirit to help us as we journey back to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, that's it for this week. What can you do to help to get to know Jesus better this year? Have a chat with your families and see what you can come up with. Our sing-along hymn this week is a song that we really like to sing in the new year. And it wishes you peace. So touch your heads for that. Peace. And it wishes you hope. And it wishes you joy. So you lower your hands for that. Joy. And it wishes you love. And it wishes you rest. So there's actions to do. So may you find peace. You touch your heads. May you find hope. You open your hands a bit. May you find joy. So lower your hands a bit. Joy this day. May you find love. We do this with our hands. May you find rest. And the new ending for the song is here in this place together. So here in this place together. So we'll go through the actions just one more, one more time. May you find peace. May you find hope. May you find joy this day. May you find love, may you find rest here in this place together. You can find a link to the song just below this video. There aren't any lyrics on it and there's no action. So you're going to have to remember the lyrics and remember the actions too. So it's may you find peace, may you find hope. May you find joy this day. May you find love. May you find rest here in this place together. Enjoy it. May God bless you and your families. And I'll see you next time.